Let's well, no surprise, the Scotiabank Arena packed to the nines. These Canadians just have an insatiable appetite for them. Every time there's a fight in the north, the arena is completely full. And tonight, you see the same thing. I cannot wait for a great fight. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. Nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a huge elbow there. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get Big him. knee. Oh, two. Wow. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Great work to the body from the clinch. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Oh! Oh, straight right! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Ooh. Land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, doing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout. As he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him very bad. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing. And here we go with the start of our second round. There you see the North Carolina native, Derek Brunson. And on the other side, Israel Adesanya. Nice great punch. Nice combination of strikes to the body. He really has made it a point to attack that part of his opponent so far so good. Not looking for the knockout early. He understands that the longer the fight goes, the body strike will become even more important. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no... Th as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got him hurt very bad. Yeah, he's an half guard here. 
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, and still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45% accuracy thus far against Derek Brunson. striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground on top. Two minutes remain in the round. Seconds now to go in our second round. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Brunson's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Final minute. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and ground will be a plenty from this position. Twenty seconds to go, round two. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful strike. Oh, big elbow. Oh. 
And he landed the right hand there. Adesanya, whoa! Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, he got it! He got it! Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Ooh. Might be a submission attempt here, Chandler. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett.